Company C, a long-distance operator, has entered the local services market. They deployed Tecalex SIP signaling router solution to build a SIP trunking infrastructure to provide local services. Company C is an operator in the call routing sequence immediately prior to the terminating operator, so it's customary for Company C to perform number portability or NP service for voice over IP calls from their SIP trunking service. They could simply dump calls onto the PSTN gateway and use the existing TDM-based NP solution to route calls to the correct network. This works if there is enough intelligent network capacity to handle the traffic and the terminating network is TDM-based. If the terminating number is an IP PBX or belongs to another voice over IP provider, then the call has to be shuttled from voice over IP to TDM and back again. Running pure voice over IP calls over the TDM network to perform number portability wastes capacity on the PSTN gateway and degrades voice quality. How can company C provide number portability for pure voice over IP calls without passing the traffic to the TDM network? An alternative is to replicate an NP solution in their SIP domain, but that's an expensive approach. A more cost-effective and efficient method is to make the TDM number portability solution available to the SIP network by accessing the TDM number portability database using the SSR's SS7 access feature. This capability allows the SSR to expand its routing options with data from the SS7 domain. The SSR provides NP services to the SIP domain in one of three ways. As a forwarding proxy, the SSR receives a request from an originating user agent such as an IP PBX. The SSR performs the NP function and then forwards the request to the appropriate SIP endpoint or terminating operator for call completion. As a redirect server, the SSR receives a request from an originating user agent. The SSR performs the NP function to determine the endpoint destination. It then sends a SIP redirect message to the user agent that instructs the user agent to forward the request to the appropriate destination. As a forwarding application server, the SSR receives a request from an originating user agent. The SSR performs the NP processing to locate the called number. It modifies the request with the destination information and sends it back to the originating user agent. The user agent then proxies the call to the appropriate SIP endpoint. As a result, NP is deployed through a standard SIP framework, an approach that can be used in the next generation network as well as in a future IMS network. In addition, end-to-end -end media transparency is maintained, so the NP solution can be applied to voice service and any type of multimedia service such as video or messaging. As a bonus, the SS7 access feature used for the NP application also supports access to other SS7-based applications like calling name, toll-free, and message waiting indicator.